What is up everybody, Ride With Will, and I kind of wanted to talk about the KTM 500 EXEF versus the CRF 450L. Yes, I have ridden both of these bikes and really focused on its nimbleness and how it felt on an average trail ride. Fair warning though, I've only ridden these bikes once in Colorado. However, I'm highly considering one of these bikes as a specific purpose for myself and the type of riding I do on specific days, which I will discuss later. Now, one question I keep asking myself, KTM versus Honda reliability, maintenance intervals, how often to check the valves, how does it feel on tighter stuff or when on the bike? So I decided to do some researching and would like to share with the community. Now keep in mind this is more like a fun discussion. And now I am an average rider and not really an aggressive or a fast one and will try to share what I felt during both of these rides. Now, the main thing for me was the reliability. Honda versus KTM. Pretty given at this point most people will say Honda, and to be honest, I think I will stand by that based on the research. But here's when things get really interesting. Upon research on the KTM 500 EXEF, a lot of people reported hitting 20,000 to 25,000 miles before doing a complete top end. And some of these folks, they did a top end just because they wanted to due to the mileage. It probably didn't even need one. Some folks reported no issues at all at 10 to 15,000 miles, but decided to tear the top off and do the top end to change out the rings, gaskets, and pistons due to the mileage, but never reported a problem. However, the most shocking post was a guy reporting 30,000 miles without even doing a valve inspection and doing your normal 500 hour, I'm sorry, 500 mile oil changes with Rotella. Now we all know Rotella is a very good oil and designed to handle high heat environments so maybe that would have con contributed to that. So yes, I really have to say the 500 EXEF is dang reliable. But how does it compare to a Honda CRF 450L? Although a new bike, many people are reporting 20,000 to 30,000 miles with absolutely no maintenance besides oil change and filter change. Some even extended the oil change to 1,000 and even 1,500 miles. Surprisingly though, both, both of these bikes have not really reported much faults, especially the Honda 450L. I couldn't find anything with a major significant problem. However, based on research, Honda really focused on the durability of the CRF 450L. So what about the extra weight? In all honesty, you can't even feel it when on the trails. It feels really light and nimble. It feels like a motocross bike with motocross suspension. You can definitely tell Honda wanted a performance dirt bike, yet hold its comfort and durability. A fair warning though, I did not try this on single track, but I would imagine the weight probably would be felt versus the KTM 500 EXEF. So out of my short ride with both of them, what I can say about the two, one thing for sure, both of these bikes can be for aggressive riders on double track and wide open flowy places. Both of these bikes definitely had performance type throttle response and feeling, however one thing I did notice between the two was comfort. I felt like the uh, Honda CRF450L held its ground in comfort, it really felt planted and this will be more ideal for road use versus the 500 KTM wanting to dig its teeth into something hardcore, super fast, flowy trail. So this is where you pick the battle. CRF 450L with 600 mile oil changes or a KTM 500 EXEF with 500 mile oil changes or 15 hour oil changes. CRF 450L at 289 pounds or the KTM at 260 pounds. More road comfort, do you want single track in between or are you just along for the ride and want to explore this vast country? See I personally think these two bikes are completely different monsters. KTF 500 EXEF for more aggressive riders that want in between exploration with single track along the way, while a CRF 450L would be more ideal for somebody who likes ripping through the forest road, jumping on the street for a good hour or two to your next destination of trails with aggressive riding in mind. CRF 450L definitely feels more planted on the road due to its extra weight and has great comfort comfort and a relaxing feel to it. 
So oil changes are not really the problem here. I change my KLX250 oil every 8 or 9 rides anyways. So that equates to the same. However, valve inspections are much longer on the CRF450L at 1800 miles, which seems to be one full season for the average dirt hopper. Not to mention a $500 savings on the CRF450L but at the cost of the weight. However, added road comfort to keep in mind. There is no doubt the 500 can do gnarly single tracks since I've seen it with my own eyes from experienced riders. There is no doubt that the 500 can do gnarly single tracks since I've seen it with my own eyes from experienced riders, but I'm yet to see one with the CRF450L and unfortunately I never tried single track with it. So do you have single track in mind or are you more of a forest hopper? I must say both of these bikes are dang reliable and proven to be trouble free based on my research.